Hey guys, so I am starting the um, video on uh, the hot peppers that I was talking about and the, uh, at the end of me of my um, last video. Um, I got the seeds today and uh, I have 13 different kinds of very um, ranging um, hot peppers from uh, pretty mild, uh, like a shishito, to uh, um, the hottest, like a Carolina Reaper. And a lot of these kinds that uh, the, the lady gave me are um, very rare uh, kinds of uh, peppers. And I just want to show you how well this uh, the Instant Pot can um, um, germinate these seeds. Uh, and so she, she has a whole setup with heating mats and uh, um, trays and domes, but not everybody is interested in having like uh, 50 different types of hot peppers growing in their house and investing in that. Uh, maybe you would like to know if it's possible with the Instant Pot that you currently own, if you could buy only a few pepper, uh, different types of uh, pepper seeds uh, and you want to make sure not to, um, to ruin them. So I'm just gonna um, try a few peppers and um, also I'm just gonna show you the types of peppers that um, I got from her. Okay, so here they are. I have a uh, Foodorama Scotch Bonnet, red, and uh, Sugar Rush Peach, Kong Star Lemon Starburst, which is not sold, it's only gifted, uh, Pink Taj Mahal, uh, Cayenetta um, Hybrid F1, Seven Pot Pink, Seven Pot Peach, Hot Purple, um, which is a small pepper, um, pretty cute. Um, Serrano Pepper, Carolina Reaper, Shishito, uh, Roxa Black Lantern, and Purple Reaper. Okay, so let's start with the Foodorama Scotch Bonnet Red, which uh, has um, 200,000 to 300,000 Scoville heat units, and it looks like this. And then we have the Sugar Rush Peach. Uh, that's 100,000 to 150,000 Scoville heat units. And here it is. Then you have the um, Kung Star Lemon Starburst. It is not known how hot it is because it's not sold. It's only gifted. Uh, it's a um, it's a hybrid, and so um, it's a beautiful pepper. You'll see, you can see the pictures right now. And then you have the Pink Taj Mahal, which is from um, 300,000 to 475,000 um, Scoville unit. And now we're moving on to a slightly milder pepper, uh, still um, hotter than the jalapeno. It's the, the Cayenetta F1, and it's of uh, 20,000 um, Scoville unit. Here it is. You also have the Seven Pot Pink pepper. It's 850,000 Scoville heat unit, and here it is. And you'll see that uh, this next one is the Seven Pot Peach. So it's very, very similar. Instead of being pink, it's peach. Uh, and it's uh, from 1 million to uh, 1 million 200 um, Scoville heat unit. So it's very close to the um, uh, Carolina Reaper or the Purple Reaper. And then we have the Hot Purple. It's uh, called Hot Pepper Loco and um, it ranges quite a lot for that one. It can be as mild as a jalapeno but much hotter like the Cayenetta. So it's from 5,000 to 30,000 um, Scoville heat unit. And here it is. 
Then you have the Serrano paper, pepper, uh, which is um, about like the Cayenetta F1. It's 20,000 to 30,000 um, Scoville heat unit. And here it is. Then I have the famous uh, Carolina Reaper, uh, which is the hottest pepper there is. Uh, it's from 1,500,000 uh, Scoville heat unit to 2 million two. 100,000 and um, here is the picture. She also gave me some uh, shishitos and um, those are really mild. Uh, I'm actually thinking of growing it and keeping it um, indoors maybe after um, because I could use it quite often. It's from 100 to 500 um, Scoville units. Okay, and we have two more. Uh, the next one is really cool. It's the Roxa Black Lantern Pepper. Um, it's from 60,000 to 80,000. It looks a lot hotter than it is apparently. So uh, this is uh, the picture. And finally, we have the Purple Reaper, uh, which I found was um, hard to find the Scoville unit. There's a lot of different Reapers, especially chocolate Reapers. And I'm not sure if they're um, almost the same as the purple and chocolate. And so some are, are written purple chocolate Reaper. Anyway, and so it's from 1,200,000 to 2,200,000 um, Scoville units because I can't be more precise than that. Um, it's freaking hot. <laughs> That's what's important. Uh, I'm going to put my peppers, uh, my pepper seeds into containers this time. The reason for that is because in my last video I compared um, the um, the bag eats method to the container method and I found that uh, I liked the container because you could leave it, uh, leave the, the, um, the seed to completely go to, um, to the leaf. And then the leaf would know where to go. And the actual seed develops more in the shape that it would inside um, soil where it has some, some, some space. It also allows for maybe more oxygen, especially if I open it twice a day. And uh, peppers do need oxygen to, um, to germinate properly. And so I just like the entire idea behind it. And since I got 100% um, rate on my simple bell peppers, I'm hoping, uh, with, with the container, so I'm hoping that it would be the best idea to do that. And so I have um, all of my little containers ready. I'm gonna just show you guys. So here they are. Um, they are wet because I sprayed them with my um, 1 to 10 uh, ratio hydrogen peroxide so that there's no mold from the beginning um, because I had used these earlier with a bunch of different pepper seeds and I uh, didn't want to just use soap but also want to make sure that I, I get it right. Uh, by now I mean it's been over an hour that I sprayed them which means in full light um, it, by now it's just uh, water and, and the oxygen has uh, gone. So uh, I'm not afraid of the uh, hydrogen peroxide staying around. And so I'm gonna put my seeds inside and then put it in my Instant Pot. Okay guys, so I was um, very confused before about how some people are like uh, messaging me that they have these like rare pepper seeds and that finally I found one way to, to, um, to make sure that they could um, have them germinate without having to buy like the heat mat just for that that um, type of pepper seed and um, they were worried to ruin them and uh, I, I like I got it but not 100% you know and um, now that I have opened my eyes to the, the world of hot peppers and how rare some are and like for example she was telling me that one of these um, some of the, the, the peppers that she uh, has she has over 50 uh, varieties a plant 
can be sold for 30 to 40 dollars so um, you can imagine how rare they are <laughs> and uh, so I have to be honest I'm a bit nervous I I believe in this method absolutely but um, what, 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 what about after like uh, the whole point of the video is just to germinate but I don't want to kill these after and I have a lot of seeds but I'm planning on only making two or three of each and um, because I mean what if only one you know uh, it um, comes out of it and cool I plant it what if all three germinate what am I gonna do with all these peppers if I don't have the space um, and also another thing hot peppers are technically supposed to be grown much earlier than now I am late in the game and the only reason I'm doing that is because I know people uh, would like to see the results probably for their next uh, season uh, growing season because these are supposed to be started at the beginning of March especially hot peppers but with the instant pop I'm thinking that I'm gonna like scratch off a good two weeks of germination at least so I'm hoping um, I'm hoping that I'm not too late to at least have some production of, of the ones I'm gonna keep um, this summer and according to when I started this last year it was it was not hot peppers but they were peppers I started at the end of April and now I'm three weeks before and I had especially for the long green peppers I had great production um, and I also had really good soil outside so um, I didn't even have grow lights because uh, I used to put everything on the side of the window because I didn't grow that much before I, I grew enough but just enough for the windowsill and now well my basement and my office are getting full so um, yeah I'm gonna try this and update you guys in a video hopefully it doesn't take too long uh, she said some of these hot peppers she actually does get a four day germination but we're talking heat mat tray dome aerator everything that you, you would want so um, here I'm trying with my Instapot, <laughs> so we'll see what happens, and uh, hopefully all goes well. Okay, so I'm, I've wet in my paper, and I'm gonna um, add the pepper seeds inside. Hopefully I have enough water. I am serious that I'm, I'm, I'm a lot more nervous than I would with any other um, seed, apparently, um, because of the rarity and the amount that you get. Uh, so I'm gonna put three. I have one kind that only has two, the um, Southern Pot Pink, but otherwise I have a lot more than I asked. Um, she gave me an amazing deal um, because uh, she knew I was doing video. She knew why I was, uh, I was asking for the seeds. And um, normally one pack is um, $6. So, they're not cheap, but they're rare. So it's just like uh, a lot of different things in life. So um, I'm gonna put them in the little pots and then in my instant pot. I did remove my sweet potato. It would have taken too much space with the peppers. So, um, and I'm not, I'm not gonna be using any uh, sweet potato sips. So I'm, uh, it's gonna be a great idea for people that will, but it's not be, gonna be very useful for me. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys once it's in the instant pot. Okay guys, it's a perfect fit. Um, I was putting them in and I got so afraid that it wouldn't fit. <laughs> I, uh, and my, I also, my parsley is still in here, so I, and I wanna keep it in here. So uh, it fits perfectly. These red ones are much bigger, so, um, but I didn't have enough of the white ones. Anyway, I hope this works, so I'm gonna put the top on so it fits everywhere make sure okay even if it had a, a open just a bit like a peppers anything above um, 82 83 they'll be super happy and below like uh, obviously like 92 um, <clears throat> and so I'm just gonna um, turn it on so here it is 
Um, I'm gonna check every day, but 99 hours. This machine has been on for so long. I feel like I'm also testing whether, uh, how good um, Instant Pots are at just uh, lasting. So uh, yeah, I'll update you every day.